IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves and welcome to our ninth episode of Braves Beat. I'm Emily Eckert. And I'm Hannah Pollack. Hannah, I don't know about you, but I've had senioritis since like sophomore year, so is it finally hitting you or? Yeah, girl, it is. I have like no motivation to do any of my schoolwork now that I'm committed to college. I don't know, but we just gotta stay motivated and do this Braves Beat episode, so let's get on with the news. Indian Hills National Honor Society will be holding a fundraiser this upcoming Monday, March 6th, from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Kenwood Chipotle next to Embers. A percentage of the profits from each menu item will support cancer-free kids when you let the cashier know that you are there for the fundraiser. It'll be a perfect time to get some extra guac or queso since you know it's going towards a good cause. Conquer the Hill, Indian Hills annual 5K run and walk is coming up. This year, a kid's fun run and spring fling will follow the race at 11 a.m. on Saturday, April 22nd. Tickets to both Conquer the Hill and Spring Fling will be linked in the description. We hope to see you all there. Experience Ships launch is coming up, and some of our Braves Beat members put together a little something to spread the word. Do you have any plans for the summer? No, it should be pretty boring. What about you? <laughs> well, I'm gonna looking for some internships and some in-work experiences. Man, if only there were some sort of outlet for us. Experience Ships, Experience Ships. What was that? I wonder what that means. Experience ships are career learning opportunities. They can be internships, jobs, shadows, or projects with a company or organization. Students can have a chance to learn what they like and don't like about certain careers. This is a once in a year chance to meet partners and hear about the program's summer opportunities. It's on March 14th, so don't miss it. RSVP on Canvas. Experience ships are career learning opportunities. They can be internships, jobs, shadows, or projects with a company or organization. Students can have a chance to learn what they like and don't like about certain careers. This is a once in a year chance to meet partners and hear about the program's summer opportunities. It's on March 14th, so don't miss it. RSVP on Canvas. Wow, that looks so cool. Be sure to email Miss Sylvia if you have any questions about experience ships. Huge congratulations goes out to Indian Hill High School students Franny Bell and Lily Woltz for being named finalists in the prestigious Cincinnati Arts Association Overture Awards. Way to go. The Indian Hill Cyber Club members competed in Revolution UC this past weekend, winning top placing in their applied category Congrats Cyber Braves. Since February's come to an end, let's see who some of our Super Braves were. And... The Super Braves winner is Lexi Idol. Congratulations. Sports anchors Nick and Gabe have a report they'd like to share with all of us now that the winter season has concluded. Guys? What's going on, Braves? Welcome back to another sports report. We've got some important news to get to, so let's do it. The boys and girls basketball honors were released this past week. Congrats to CJ Hayden on making the CHL first team, John Potagio and Zach Jones on making CHL second team and to CHL Honorable Mentions, Alex Grace and Nathan Vrygren. For the girls, shout out to Caroline Langworthy on making CHL first team, Brooke Arrington for making second team, and Macy Overton for being a CHL Honorable Mention. Congrats to both teams on a great season. Our wrestling team is still in the season as we approach districts at sectionals. Andrew Boyke and Michael Ryu placed fourth, Vitaly Cristo finished second, and Adam Cristo finished third. These four wrestling will advance so to districts. Good luck, Braves. Our swimming teams were dominant this past weekend at state finals. The boys' 200 medley consisting of Arjun, Jason, Gibson, and Jack are state champs. On top of that, Gibson took home two more state championships, including his third straight in the 100 fly, becoming the first boys' D2 swimmer to ever have done so. Gibson finishes his swimming career at Indian Hill with 10 state championships and was named D2 Swimmer of the Year. Jason Zhao is also a state champion of 500 meters and now holds the new state record. The boys 200 free also took home third place and coach Matt Harrison took home D2 coach of the year. Huge congratulations to all our swimmers. Well, that's all the sports news we have for this week. Thanks for joining us. Now let's get back to the news desk. Thanks Nick and Gabe for all those informational stats. Well, Emily, I'm glad for us for getting through that episode. Cheers to many more. Hannah? We don't cheers until the end of the episode. Have you lost your mind? <laughs> I don't know what the side effects are from senioritis. 
Short term, <laughs> short term memory loss. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> I think senioritis is causing me to lose my memory. Well, that's all, folks. So be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, or email us with any school updates. And remember, <laughs> stay, <laughs> stay cutting. Today we are going around asking, are you smarter than a fifth grader? What body of water is to the right of the United States? Atlantic. Correct. How many individual, not pairs? Oh, I mean 46, right. Correct. What is a country that's surrounded by three bodies of water? Ireland. And what is the largest? No. no. What chromosomes do women have? X, Y. Wrong. This 10 to the second power. 100. What does Washington, D.C. stand for? No. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. District of Columbia. What was Picasso's first name? <laughs> can, I, can I phone a friend? <laughs> yeah, phone a friend. Oh, God. I don't know. It's Pablo. I knew that. <laughs> what body of water is to the left of the United States? Wait, what? What body of water? Body of water? What ocean? What ocean? What ocean? On the left? The left of the U.S. So uh, next to California? Correct. The Pacific. Yes. <laughs> what is the stupid question? It's correct. I know. What unit of measurement is abbreviated in OZ? Ounces. <laughs> correct. Yes. Um, how many sides are on a hexagon? 22.